Hey guys, it's Destiny, and our simulated universe friend from the beginning of the game has finally released. And they're none other than Ranme. Today I'll be going over everything Ranme offers, what teams I like her on based on my own testings, some important stats to pay attention to when it comes to Ranme, and overall my full review on her value as a character. If you guys do enjoy videos like these, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button to increase your chances of pulling Ranme. Without further ado though, let's talk about Ron May. The core of all existence is unity. With Ron May being our first limited 5 star harmony character, she offers quite a lot of buffs in her kit. Kind of like how she gives you a bunch of buffs in Simulated Universe if you trigger the Ron May event. Ron May takes a different approach to our usual buffers and has a stronger focus on break effect and also weakness breaking efficiency which we haven't had a Harmony character yet that has a strong focus on these aspects of the game, so she definitely brings something interesting and new for sure. In the case of Ron May, she increases weakness breaking efficiency by 50% with her skill, which also increases all allies damage by 32% as well with Overtone and this lasts for 3 turns. Regarding break efficiency though, let's say you had an enemy with 300 toughness meter and your teammates reduces toughness by 30 per hit. You need to deal 10 attacks in order to break the toughness meter of that enemy, but with the 50% increase from Ron May, the number of hits you will need to inflict will now be 7 instead of 10 in order to fully break that toughness meter. This is very strong for being able to break enemies faster, which is highly beneficial for damage over time teams or any ally that has higher break effect and benefiting from the delay that Ron May has with her ultimate as well. Ron May's ultimate makes her own Sakura domain expansion, which is super pretty, but also very deadly to enemies. She'll be able to increase the all type elemental resistance penetration for all your allies. What's really cool though about penetration in particular is that it can go into the negatives. And what Ron May has is a 25% resistance penetration at level 10, and then most elite enemies typically have a maximum resistance of 20%, which means that enemy will still have negative resistance even if they're not weak to that element. When an enemy is weak to an element though, the resistance will be zero, so then it'll just go further into the negative, and of course you'll be dealing more damage. So as a result, her resistance penetration is definitely no joke when it comes to how strong this could honestly be for your team. And the fact that every ally will be able to take advantage of this, it's pretty powerful. As for her delay, this is referred to as rebloom, and attacking an enemy will apply the rebloom Sakura onto them. This triggers when an enemy is weakness broken, and rebloom's delay is based on 20% of Ron May's break effect plus 10%, and enemies that are weakness broken will not be able to regenerate their toughness meter immediately. Enemies will also be lowered in the turn cycle from the delay, which is definitely good for dealing more damage to enemies and not having to deal with their toughness meter immediately again. And also in a way having more sustainability on the team. The way that you'll have more sustainability is that if the enemy gets delayed and they cannot touch you, well you're not going to be taking damage during this, so it definitely adds to your sustainability factor. And then when you pair Ron May with a character like Welt, the enemy just takes forever to move again so you can literally just bully all the enemies you're fighting with this. And two things to keep in mind is that her ultimate only lasts for two turns, and then enemies cannot be inflicted with rebloom again until they recover from being weakness broken. But one thing that's pretty cool about the rebloom though is that it stays post ultimate. So if you don't break an enemy prior to the field going away, the rebloom effect will remain on that enemy, plus damage over time status will occur on an enemy even if they are delayed. So this is going to be even better for our Kafka mains. As for Ron May's talent, she will increase all allies' speed, except for her own speed. And when allies weakness break an enemy, Ron May will also inflict ice break damage onto them. As for her technique, she'll start off the battle with her skill and in simulated universe reduce enemies' toughness regardless of their weakness, and also increase the toughness reducing damage of attacks based on how many blessings they have. Lastly, for her traces, she increases all allies' break effect by 20%, regenerate energy by 5 points at the start of her turn, and for every 10% of Ron May's break effect that exceeds 120, she will increase the damage allies deal by 6% up to 36%. This means that Overtone will actually be able to give your team a team-wide 68% damage increase if you get Ron May to a minimum 180 break effect. She also gets 37.3% break effect, 22.5% defense, and 5 speed just from her sub-traces. 
I'm going to be honest with you guys, Ron May's kit is literally insane as to how much she provides a team, since she's able to give team-wide buffs that practically any damage dealer can benefit from. Now that we've gone over her kit and all the aspects regarding her kit, I do want to go over some Ron May teams I definitely enjoyed playing. So for my favorite Ron May teams, one of them is Jingyuan and Topaz. Our general is definitely up with this team. Ron May giving the team-wide buffs I've mentioned makes her incredible for enabling dual DPS comps, which means Jingyuan and Topaz are literally no joke in how strong they are when they're paired with Ron May. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's just super freaking strong. Another team I really enjoy with Ron May is Kafka Damage Over Time teams. Since Ron May is able to provide the Damage Over Time team with buffs that highly benefit their damage output, and being able to weakness break enemies faster allows you to accumulate break damage over time at a consistent and faster rate as well. Another pairing that I enjoy is Welt and Ron May. These two literally dominate the battlefield with delaying and slowing enemies down in turn cycles to the point the enemy should just raise their surrender flag. I have paired well in Ron Mei with plenty of other DPS characters, some being Su Shang, Don Hong, and so on. And Ron Mei and Well are just pretty good in being able to help you control the flow of the fight by allowing your team to go far more times than the enemy can in turn cycles. So I'm a huge fan of the synergy that these two are able to do. Welt stonks are definitely at an all-time high right now, and I would definitely recommend building your Welt if you haven't already. Overall, I can go over plenty of comps with Ron May, but to sum up what she provides for teams, she's very universal in the buffs she gives, and a great teammate to have on nearly every team because of that. She's the best when it comes to enabling dual DPS comps since you'll be able to consistently buff both of your damage dealers, but she can also be used on hyper carry if you want to use her there too. She is also very skill point positive for teams since her skill lasts for 3 turns, so she'll be able to be plus 2 skill point positive which is great for having additional skill points lying around for your DPS characters to use, especially if you do intend to use the dual DPS comp. Now though, let's go over some Ron May builds and then my final verdict on her as a whole. The core of all existence is unity. When it comes to building Ron May, my top recommendations are definitely for Peace Thief and Shooting Meteor to be able to reach that 180 break effect minimum that Ron May wants in order to get those additional damage increases. And a secondary option could be mixing the Thief and Hackerspace set or mixing Thief and possibly Guard of Withering Snow set if you do want more survivability on your Ron May. As for planars, the ones I recommend the most is the Talia set for the break effect, Fleet of the Ages for a team-wide attack increase, Broken Keel for the effect resistance and also crit damage increase for the team. For her body piece and orb, you can go with HP or Defense for more survivability, Energy Rope for better uptime on her ultimate, and Speed Boots. You'll ideally want 180 break effect minimum, 145 plus speed for the Talia set, and then defensive stats such as HP, defense, and also effect resistance to resist debuffs and crowd control from happening on Ron May. For Lycone options, her two top options will be her signature Lycone because of the break effect, additional skill point regeneration, energy at the start of each wave, and another damage increase on top of the damage increases from Overtone. Another good option is Memories of the Past for break effect and also additional energy, which will help for getting more consistent 3 turn ultimates. Other options could be Meshing Cogs for the energy, the Planetary Lycon for Ice Teams in particular, Carve the Moon, Weave the Clouds for the buffs it provides, and so on. The core of all existence is unity. Now that we've gone over the essentials of Ron May though, what teams I like her on and builds, it's time to discuss her pros and cons and ultimately her value. Think of this as the before you pull segment of the review. The benefits of Ron May is her massive damage increases for the team, the elemental penetration she gives for teammates, weakness breaking efficiency, her ability to play enemies, and so on. Plus, since Ron May has so much break effect, she's also able to inflict her own forms of damage when she breaks enemies or even when allies break enemies' toughness. Ron May felt very universal for teams as I mentioned before from my testings and she's definitely incredible for dual DPS comps. Which if you're interested in that playstyle, she's definitely one of the best options for it. In all honesty, there's not too many flaws with Ron May as a character, other than the struggle to have a 100% uptime on her ultimate. Since it appears that she would have to get hit a few times in order to do it, Otherwise, you're more so looking at a 3 turn ultimate instead, but since her ultimate only lasts for 2 turns, it's going to be very very difficult to try to ensure that it's up at all times. As for positives though, 
the skill point positive, has a bunch of buffs, enables a playstyle other than hyper carry in a very effective way. And once again, though, this doesn't mean that she can't be used on hyper carry. It's that she has options with how you use her on your teams. So when it comes to my rating on her, she's honestly a 9.5 out of 10 or around that range. And the ultimate is only really her main flaw when it comes to, once again, having that 100% uptime. But of course, she's still incredible either way and definitely a character to consider picking up if you are interested on her. For the future, I think she'll be amazing and definitely a character that will remain relevant for a very long time because of her focus on break effect, weakness breaking efficiency, delaying enemies, and much more. That'll be all though for my review and guide on Ranmei and let me know if you guys have questions on our simulated universe lead. But before you go, make sure to subscribe for more character reviews and guides to know what I think about them, leave a like to support the video, and lastly, I hope you all have a great one and good luck on your Ron Maples. Peace.